As the North Koreans launched a large-scale offensive against the South in June of 1950, their jet-powered Soviet MiG-15s quickly overwhelmed their opponent's once-effective North American P-51 Mustangs, significantly gaining the upper edge against an underpowered fleet that saw most of its glory during World War II. However, the tide strikingly changed in December when the United States sent their fourth fighter interceptor wing to help retake the skies with a new devastating aircraft, the F-86 Sabre. Armed with six powerful Browning machine guns and several rocket launchers, the F-86 quickly proved its worth against its Soviet counterparts. The single crewman jet-powered warplane created so much havoc that the North Korean pilots didn't know what hit them. What's more, the exemplary aircraft would later evolve into several variants, with the F-86D, also dubbed the Sabre Dog, earning legendary status after radically changing its weapons technology. The Road to Modernization When the United States entered World War II, North American Aviation's P-51 Mustang was one of the first aircraft to engage the enemy over the skies of Europe, Africa, and the Pacific. By mid-1944, when the crumbling Third Reich had launched the world's first operational jet aircraft, the Messerschmitt Me-262, North American proposed its own jet fighter to the U.S. Navy and U.S. Army Air Forces to counter the enemy. However, the jet-powered aircraft would not see the light until years later. During the post-war, the company turned to German footprints of the Messerschmitt Me-262 to improve their XP-86 design, which had been turned down by the armed forces. The road was not easy, as the U.S. Army Air Forces was cutting down aircraft and cancelling orders and projects to adjust its budget. However, knowing that about 12 million servicemen had been discharged and were looking for work, President Harry S. Truman was unwilling to let that number increase. Subsequently, the President approved a study that suggested modernizing the Air Forces with 8,000 state-of-the-art warplanes, thus allowing North American to keep developing its jet aircraft. The revamped XP-86 then flew for the first time in 1947 and left the pilots impressed with its cutting-edge capabilities. The first 30 aircraft were delivered the following year with the codename F-86, and in April, it became the first U.S. aircraft to break the sound barrier when it exceeded Mach 1 in a shallow dive. The F-86 Sabre By March of 1949, the F-86 was already incorporated into several U.S. Air Force fighter groups, earning its Sabre nickname because of its impressive speed and maneuverability. The Sabre was designed as a multi-role aircraft, with fighter interceptor and fighter bomber capabilities. And although the first designs had straight wings, its redesign featured swept back wings and tail surfaces. The monoplane wings were low-mounted into the sides of the fuselage, placed slightly forward and extending rearwards, giving the Sabre a unique silhouette. This fuselage was rounded at the edges, with the front edge cut off to provide space to an air inlet duct that fed the engine. In addition, its empennage was standard, featuring a single vertical tail fin and traditional undercarriage with a tricycle accommodation. Sabre pilots had decent battlefield visibility thanks to the cockpit's forward placement and frameless glass surface. The cockpit also included a hinged jettisonable canopy, and the pilot seat featured a safe ejection procedure. By the time the U.S. Air Force was familiarized with the Sabre, the Korean War had already broken out and the aircraft was ready to be tested in combat against the Soviet MiG-15s. The Burning Skies of Korea In June of 1950, the Communist forces of North Korea attacked its southern compatriots near the 38th parallel, with the firm intention of taking over the entire peninsula. This violent attack led the United Nations and the United States to prepare for combat and to help the South Koreans reconquer their land from the enemy forces supported by the Soviet Union and China. The U.S. subsequently supplied over 80 P-51s to fight off the jet-powered Soviet MiG-15s, while the Air Force assembled F-86s from the 4th Fighter Interceptor Group. During this time, 
the American and South Korean forces were unable to take control of the skies, almost losing all hope. However, when the Sabres arrived in December of 1950, they quickly proved their worth. Although the F-86s could not outturn the MiGs, they could outdive them, and this was more than enough to get the job done. The MiG-15 had a better ceiling, acceleration, and firepower, but later variants of the F-86s quickly evened the odds. Some of these variants included the F-86A, F-86E, and F-86F, and the success of the Sabre's 20mm cannon marked the beginning of the end for the powerful 50 caliber Browning machine gun used in the air-to-air -air rolls. What's more, many of the American pilots of the 4th Fighter Interceptor Wing were World War II veterans with plenty of combat experience, and paired with the outstanding capabilities of the Sabre, the U.S. forces rapidly took control of the skies once the P-51s were phased out to secondary roles. However, as the war progressed, the once inexperienced North Korean and Chinese MiG-15 pilots learned how to counter the F-86s with the Council of Seasoned Soviet pilots that knew a thing or two about U.S. air tactics. A significant number of dogfights and encounters then took place over the skies at the mouth of the Yalu River, with both sides heavily engaging in brutal air-to-air -air fighting over the natural boundary between Korea and China, baptized by UN pilots as MiG Alley. According to several U.S. military sources, the F-86s achieved an impressive 14 to 1 KD ratio during the Korean War. And although some aviation historians still debate the statistics, it is generally accepted that USAF pilots aboard F-86s claimed over 790 MiG-15 shootdowns at the cost of only 78 Sabres. Still, Soviet and Chinese sources estimate that their MiGs took down over 600 Sabres. Controversy aside, 39 of the 40 UN pilots who became aces during the Korean War racked up their scores aboard the F-86 Sabre, making the aircraft one of the most effective fighters of all time. The F-86D Sabre Dog One of the most known variants of the F-86 was the D-model, originally codenamed YF-95. However, it was quickly dubbed Sabre Dog or Dog Sabre by pilots and technicians alike. The model aimed to produce a transonic all-weather search radar equipped interceptor prototype of the F-86. Still, it quickly turned into something entirely different. The Sabre Dog was based on an extensive rework of the A-model airframe to produce the desired all-weather interceptor and counter the Soviet bomber threats of the 1950s. The result would be a so-called variant that only shared 25% of common parts with other F-86 Sabre models and integrated a nose ray dome to cover the radar fit, a larger fuselage with an upgraded afterburning turbojet engine and enlarged tail surfaces. However, the aircraft still retained the overall look of the classic Sabre, including most of its essential functions. The oval-shaped air intake aspirated the single turbojet installation behind the pilot, and it exhausted through a port located under the tail aft of the fuselage. In addition, the cockpit was located close to the nose and featured a clear view canopy, while the tail contained a vertical fin with low-set horizontal planes. A conventional, fully retractable tricycle undercarriage made up the Sabre Dog's airframe. With a length of 40 feet, a width of 37 feet, and a height of 15 feet, the Sabre Dog was considerably larger than its predecessor, but it justified its weight with the amount of firepower it packed. Although the Sabre Dog lacked gun armament, it was replaced with a single retractable underfuselage tray that could store up to 24 unguided MK4 rockets or Mighty Mouse air-to-air -air folding fin aerial rockets. This devastating arsenal was better suited for its objective to shoot down enemy bombers. Nevertheless, the later K and L variants of the Sabre Dog sold to NATO allies would replace the rocket tray in favor of the standard 420mm M24A1 cannon. The aircraft was powered by one General Electric J47 GE17B turbojet engine that provided over 7,500 pounds of thrust, and its maximum takeoff weight was 19,950 pounds. Also, the aircraft achieved a maximum speed of over 690 miles per hour during testing, and its approximate range was 330 miles, with a service ceiling of almost 50,000 feet, and a rate of climb of 12,100 feet per minute. In addition, each wing had space for storing an optional fuel drop tank to bolster range if required. A popular aircraft. 
The F-86D began development in March of 1949, and the unarmed prototype, codenamed 5577, took to the skies for the first time in December of 1949 with test pilot George Welch at the controls. The Saber Dog began operations in April of 1953, and in July, it achieved a groundbreaking record when Lieutenant Colonel William F. Barnes flew a Saber Dog at the Salton Sea in Southern California at 715 miles per hour. Some of the most popular variants were the K and L models, which featured a revamped gun armament and more sophisticated electronics. Over 2,500 F-86D Sabre Dogs would be produced throughout the 1950s, and they would be sold to NATO countries and U.S. allies, such as Japan, the Netherlands, West Germany, Greece, Italy, France, Denmark, Norway, South Korea, and many others. They would remain in U.S. service until 1961, when they were phased out in favor of more advanced interceptors, but they would still go on to serve with the air forces of several NATO countries in the late 1970s. Ultimately, the Sabre Dog would be best remembered for becoming the first American aircraft that replaced a second crewman for a highly advanced electronic system and the standard gun armament in favor of air to air missiles. Thank you for watching our video. Please like and subscribe to our Dark Documentaries channels to find more exciting historical content. And let us know in the comments below what you think of the standard F 86 Sabre and its redesigned model the more potent F-86D Sabre Dog. Stay tuned for more.